Well, I think the first thing you want to make sure you do is don't make a big deal out of it when you get stands. If uh, he's cooking from a rock or a brush or something, you don't want to go and just um, put the spurs to him and try to force him up to that rock. If you're just riding out on the trail, the biggest thing is just kind of get on by it and keep going. Don't make a big deal out of it. If it's something that you need to get him up to, you want to turn him a little to the left and the right and ease him up to that rock and give him some time if you uh, to settle and realize that the rock's not a bad deal or the brush isn't a bad deal or whatever's there. You don't want to let him run off and leave the rock, but you don't want to just go really, really hard at it and make it a big war right there, because every time he sees a rock, he's going to think there's a war. At the same time, if you do start to take him to something, you have to, you have to get him there. You can't try to take him there, and then it gets a little bad, and you quit and go on down the trail. You've got to get it done. Yeah, if, um, if I felt like, or if you felt like you're having trouble and he's going to start rearing or bucking, maybe just go lope and trot circles by the rock or whatever's there and keep moving the circle closer to the rock as you let, as your horse starts to melt and relax. Just um, start somewhere where you can get a circle lope and then just gradually build it over there to the rock. And that's probably the best way to do it. Um, that and, and give him a little time in the beginning. A lot of times horses will spook at something and drop down and look at it. And if you give them a little time and keep them pointed at it, they'll almost sneak up to it out of curiosity. The biggest thing to me is just when you feel him under your body, just relax and let his, you'll feel his muscles go from tense to, to not tense. That's the biggest thing for me. And if you get him there and you think you have it, and you turn to leave and he blows out of there, go back again. Even if you thought you had it, don't let him, don't let him run from it as you turn away from it. And, and you've got to, of course, in all of this, use your head and don't, don't um, put more on your horse than you as a rider can handle. Um, in other words, if they try to blow away and you can't get them to stop without rearing them over, you need to go a little ways and get them to stop gradually and then get back to the rock.